we began to think about how we could serve as Alexander County, we also talked about how this works for the state of North Carolina. So we're going to be doing things in the room today, but we're also going to be doing things externally outside of the room. The people that I have to my left, Shannon Reisenbarg, our Chief Technology Officer, and Don Larcy, our Pilot Director, these are folks that are going to be responsible not only for helping Alexander County, but they're also going to be responsible for managing the outside room today. So one of the things that we talked about in preparation for today is, are we uh, setting up a situation today where we're going to provide all the answers and solve blended learning and virtual learning? Not at all. Quite the contrary. We're asking a lot of great questions today about where we're headed with blended learning, where we're headed with virtual learning, and how it's going to impact not only Alexander County, but the rest of the state. So as we get moving through these processes, we have a paper agenda today uh, at your dais, and it kind of keeps us on schedule. We have uh, folks from North Carolina Virtual Public School and learning on our line that are going to be with you at your tables to help and have conversations. And in lieu of interviews, that's what we're going to do is give you time during the session to meet each other, to talk with each other, and learn a little bit about the different people over the course of the next two days that we'll all be working together with. I'm also from time to time going to reference the screen in front of you. And you will see uh, where we uh, have 24 people from around in the room right now on the right lower column of the screen. Now, those folks are going to be asking questions, and they're going to be providing information, and they may want to interrupt something that we're saying in the room. But Shannon is going to make sure that they get their time and they get their uh, question answered or addressed. And we're also monitoring this from Raleigh simultaneously. You'll also notice a picture from where I'm speaking so that the people outside can see us and they can see the interactions and see the comments and hear the remarks because we're standing very close to the auditory camera. Now, when we break at the tables, we don't have your table mic, so you don't have to worry about that. You'll be having some great conversations, I'm sure, about blended learning. Our day is set up from a district level perspective to talk about facets of blended learning and how it works at the district level. Tomorrow is set up for the school level and how we make sure that happens and that both sides are connected. Those folks that are with us today representing the school level will learn a lot about when we work with districts how the two connect. And tomorrow, the school folks will learn a lot about how it connects back to the district's work. So one of our ambitions as we start today is to look at preparing and equipping leaders with the capacity to eat barriers for breakfast. So we're going to talk about that when we get started. To make everybody very comfortable with the virtual world, you notice on the main screen that we have virtual refreshments. So what I'm going to ask folks to do that are in the chat room is to circle which refreshments that they will feel that they would like to have at the beginning of this. Folks in the room, and Shannon and Don will be tweeting about this and chatting. You can see that folks are already starting to circle which refreshments interest them the most and what they would be doing if they were here with us. 